We are here in Beijing to bring you round-the-clock coverage of the 2008 Summer Olympic Games. I'm your host, Bob Gold. To my right is Rings Gardner, one-time world low jump champion and part-time cowpoke. He's also a former Olympic brass medalist. Rings, what are your impressions so far? Well, you know, it's funny you ask me that, Bob. The only thing I can really say is... Talk about the Olympics. Wow! The smog, the lip syncing, the made for TV fireworks. The Chinese really know how to throw in Olympics. General Gao should be very proud. The National Stadium, the bird's nest they call it, is truly an architectural marvel. I'm told it's the first Olympic venue constructed entirely out of twigs. You know something? I like birds. Yes, I'll bet you do. Speaking of the bird's nest, the Chinese hurdler really laid an egg here last night. Ha! Huh, whatever. Hey, little known fact. The Olympic medals awarded here in Beijing are not made out of gold, silver, and bronze. They're actually a low-grade pig iron painted in Chinese lead paint. Note to the winners, avoid nibbling on those medals. But I do hear the all-you-can-eat buffets the Chinese have prepared for the athletes are heaped with the best food in Olympic history. That's true, Bob. But the funny thing is, two hours after they eat it, the athletes just feel like competing again. When we return, we'll watch an athlete with an unpronounceable name perform a seemingly impossible feat. We're here at the Tiananmen Square gymnastics venue where Romanian superstar Vlad Impeliescu has made history by performing the first triple twisting Bavarian pretzel in international competition. Rings, this young man has mastered the horizontal bar. Well, it's ironic that this has occurred because in the red light district last night, I learned that Beijing has some exotic dancers who have truly mastered the vertical bar. Did you give any of them a 10? Well, no, but... Those single sure add up. Have you heard the rumor that the Chinese gymnast now approaching the beam is just five years old? Yes, I have, Bob. And I've been told that she has been promised a pony ride if she sticks this landing. Stay tuned. When we return, controversy involving a Canadian gymnast whose Olympic dream was crushed when she received the evil eye from the Transylvanian judge. Ugh. If you're just joining us, we're here at the Tiananmen Square gymnastics venue where America's sweetheart Cindy Lou Who is about to perform the floor exercises. Wow, I think she accidentally did three flips instead of two during that last tumbling run, Rings. Bob, she'll really be in for a gold medal if she can pull off this next move. A triple frappuccino with a double barrel shotgun. Rings, is there any truth to the rumor that Chinese gymnasts who fail to advance in the national training program are simply bound up and thrown in the river? Absolutely not, Bob. The Minister of Athlete Euthanization has personally assured me that underperforming gymnasts are now humanely and discreetly put to sleep. When we return, it's back to the pool for the semifinals of the men's 10-meter platform cannonball. We're here poolside, where Zimbabwean diver Mbopo Pelletier is about to attempt an inward seven and a half with God knows how many twists. And, oh, he's missed the pool entirely and smashed his head open on the cement. <laughs> that routine did not go as he planned. <laughs> yes, and that blood seeping into the pool cost him at least two-tenths of a point. That's absolutely right, Bob. The judges do not react favorably to exposed bone and cranial hemorrhaging. When we return... Born with spina bifida, rickets, and a double cleft palate. This inspiring gold medal hopeful was told by doctors he'd never be able to ride a tricycle, let alone hurl himself over a bar 19 feet in the air with a friggin' pole. Another Olympic miracle story. Born with gout, testicular cancer, and a punctured lung, this inspiring gold medal hopeful was told by doctors he'd never be able to go 12 hours without soiling himself let alone set a world record in the men's 100-meter doggy style. Very sad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 